All right, so why don't we get started? So welcome to our Convos with Community. We're so grateful for you joining us here on a Friday, whether it's your lunchtime or morning or later in the day. Um, we are thrilled to be covering the upscale with community. So we have quite a few things covered uh, to cover. And so first of all, we're going to introduce ourselves. So uh, who is all here? And then we're going to be sharing resources. Uh, specifically, we're going to be discussing the Learning Center and Guided Training, which is one of the reasons we're so grateful to have Patrick with us today. Uh, we are also going to be discussing kind of customer spotlights and how we are just so eager and excited to shine that spotlight on you and how you are changing the way the world learns. And then lastly, we're going to be discussing how can you stay connected with us and kind of opening the floor for questions as well. So with that, I will introduce myself. I am Andrea Blackwell. I am one of the community specialists here at D2L. Hi everyone, Asim here. I'm also a fellow community specialist and super excited to facilitate this experience with you and connect you with all these awesome resources we have in the Learning Center. Hey, I'm Steph Baldwin. I think I see some familiar faces and names that are attending our event today. I'm so glad to have you all joining us. Uh, I also work in our community. We are missing the lovely Julie Lau. And also for those of you who are familiar from Legacy, our um, our other community specialist, Alex Daly, is on leave um, and, and will be returning to us uh, in a couple of additional months. And today we have a special guest who's joining us. I will have introduced himself now. Thank you so much for being here. Hi everyone, I'm Patrick. I'm with the training team at D2L and I'm an instructional designer. So I work on a lot of the materials and develop uh, the materials that are showcased in the learning center that we'll be looking at today. Just to get an understanding real quick, you can in the chat or the Q&A in this case, just like drop a thumbs up if you've accessed the Brightspace Learning Center. Wanted to call out here that the Q&A is where you'll be able to like come in with all your questions that you have about the Learning Center, any additional resources. Um, but yeah, I think this is the best way to like help us understand what, what best uh, is most information and valuable for you. So yeah. Uh, Right. We should be good to continue if. Yeah. All right. Just before we dive in very specifically into Learning Center and the training stuff, we always like to give a quick community tour. So just let you know where everything is nested in the community. And um, you will be able to find the take a community tour button on the homepage inside community, which is really where you'll be connected with all the hotspots in community. I just wanted to quickly call out a couple of areas that we think are extremely high value and some things that we've constantly heard feedback about and also seen a high traffic of users come through and find themselves connected to awesome support and resources. Um, one of the biggest uh, thing is definitely our ask questions in community. So it's a 24 seven discussion forum where you can post questions about literally anything related to Brightspace. So uh, you will you will see that there are tons of subject matter experts and Brightspace enthusiasts that are in this forum and really hopping in to provide to you that uh, assist. We also have access events as a pretty cool feature in this new community where you'll find yourself connected to a schedule of events that are being hosted in the community. Um, this is definitely somewhere where you might have find yourself find yourself connect to this event. So super excited to see a lot of you connect through that space and keep uh, tuned there because we'll be posting monthly updates to our event list right in that space. We'll also follow that up with the product idea exchange. Um, so the product idea exchange is definitely an awesome spot for you to um, really submit ideas and opinions to our subject, uh, our product experts so that they can further design the best uh, use case for your Brightspace instance. So definitely check buy out to find yourself connected to other opinions, ideas with uh, users coming in from across community um, to upvote, to leave a comment, that would be great. Um, find all of those pies actually 
they come into the product via the release notes. So on a monthly basis, our knowledge team really, um, you know, helps put together the release notes highlights video, which is a quick video that really shows you what's the latest and greatest in the product. But at the same time, you will find yourself connected to a, uh, to an article that lists out all the awesome things that are being released in the month. You can find yourself updated with when these release notes, release notes are published with our release notes updates discussion. With that discussion, like any other discussion in community, you have the opportunity to select bookmark, which is that quick ribbon that you'll see on all discussion forums, which is exactly how you would be notified if a new post has been made to that discussion thread. And our knowledge team does a really great job of updating our community members um, on whenever there is an update made to the release notes. So definitely bookmark, set your notification preferences in community. You can have in-platform notifications, so just a bell notification, right, like within all social media platforms, or also have yourself uh, an email notification set up, which uh, allows the community to send you email updates to your registered email address from which you've created the community account. Finally, something that I think is an awesome space within community is definitely like the communities of practice, which are community groups uh, hosted right within community. You'll find yourself connected to tons of groups, which are really niche areas of uh, bright space or, or topics of interest that you'd like yourself to be connected with. For example, the accessibility interest group. Another really cool group that I would definitely give a shout out to would be the instructional design best practices group where there are monthly uh, and weekly blog posts made, which really take users through the cool stuff that's happening inside the learning and creative services here at D2L. Um, and one final spotlight, and this is for a new group that was recently added and a shout out to all K-12 educators and administrators. Definitely check out the D12 Adventure Group. It's, uh, it's a real uh, new space and we're definitely looking to shape it with all of your continued contributions in it. So that was a quick little tour. And again, if you have any questions about any of those hotspots, definitely chime in. This is a conversation and we want to see your participation too, but let's move on. Stephanie, quick question for you. So we just went through all these awesome spaces within community. I often see like we have to like have like credentials like in the past, like with legacy credentials and like the new community credentials. Is there something that we've done about that to make it more seamless? Love it. Yes, perfect segue. So for all of those who have connected with us today, we hope that you're starting to see some of the um, components that we've left for you, some of the notes, especially in our new and community widget, which you'll find on your homepage, which provides information on our new single sign-on beta experience. So just as Austin was saying, as we've launched our new community, we want to make it easier and simpler for you in an iterative way to connect with more of the resources that we have available through community. Some of the extended integrations that some of you might be really familiar with from your legacy experience, including the product idea exchange or um, the Brightspace Learning Center, including access to things like Brightspace guided training. Um, and, and for limited folks who are approved support contacts, the approved support contact homepage, all of those resources had not been available through one set of credentials in the new community. But as, as of actually just about a, a week or two ago, we've made it available for you to be early adopters of the new single sign-on experience, which means you won't have to juggle a bunch of different credentials. It's just one password, one username from new community to get into all of those spaces. They're available from our uh, navigation bar as well as your quick links widget. Um, all, of those, uh, all of those tools can be found within the navigation bar and the quick links um, and will help you to connect. So a, a great quick and easy way for folks to get started and, and get into our community. If you have any questions at all, we also have a dedicated discussion all about the new experience. We'd love to have your feedback. We've actually been meeting in an individual way with folks quite a bit over the last two weeks. So please don't be shy. We're happy to connect with you. We want to know about your experience and just make it better and better. We also have a, an article, which 
um, appears on the slide here. It's available through our community. When you visit our community corner, uh, which is the category of community where we post all kinds of updates, all of the information related to your T2L Brightspace community experience, you'll find this article right at the top of the list under updates. It's called Community Single Sign-On Solution Beta Experience. It's an article that gives all the instructions you need to get set up for your single sign-on account. Um, approved support contacts do have a slightly different workflow than folks who are not approved support contacts, but both instructions are available uh, with that quick and easy heading to get you sort of started. Um, just as you see on the slide here, using the on this page feature, you can use the instructions just for approved support contacts or for new or existing D2L Brightspace community members. So we certainly hope you'll take a look at the article. We have some tutorial videos for you there as well. A discussion in case you run into any kinds of challenges or just want to share about your experience. There's also, for those of you who are um, members of our Champions program, there's also a survey where you can provide us with extended feedback and, of course, additional uh, benefits that come with participation in those types of activities. Uh, but really, I would say more than anything else, it's a really great opportunity for you to give feedback and to see that feedback become reality as we work to make this experience a better and better one. Um, so it's still that that beta experience of still early days, lots of opportunity for us to keep working on things and make it a really smooth experience to get in and get access to all the resources you're looking for. So please don't be a stranger. Let us know your thoughts. So one of the other areas that we have resources for you is in our Brightspace Learning Center. Uh, so our Brightspace Learning Center is the area in which you can find freemium and premium content to help you with your learning and education goals. Uh, and now with single sign-on, you can access the Learning Center straight from our homepage. So when you go to the resources tab, just under onboarding, you can click on Learning Center and it will take you straight there, which we are very excited about. Um, and there we have just a plethora of options for you, uh, just based on whatever your package is with D2L that you can use to best utilize your digital learning space. Uh, and then alongside that, we also have our directory of Learning Center offerings. So this can be found uh, in the community uh, again, under resources in the training section. And one nice thing about our directory of Learning Center offerings is that we've continued on with the uh, division by industry that we also had in the legacy community. So you can find Learning Center resources that are catered to certain in, uh, sectors. And we have those just like a little screenshot of that. You can click on those and they will take they will take you to uh, another page that will show you what's available, what's suggested uh, for that area. And then, of course, if you just want to browse the complete directory of offerings we have, you have that option as well. What's pretty neat about that, Andrea, is actually like inside the complete directory of Learning Center offerings, each course has an associated article. So even right before you dive into a particular course, I think we can definitely go through and see like, what are the learning objectives from this course? What are the resources that we're calling out? Um, and also it just gives you like a quick preface. So even if you're looking to share a resource with a fellow instructor or an administrator, it's really a quick uh, and easy way for us to share out that article page, which gives a quick synopsis of what the course is all about, which is pretty neat. I love that there's also a filter for like, show me the courses that have downloads. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's a great one. If you're dropping by community, especially if you're new to, to D2L and to Brightspace, or even if you're someone who's been using it for quite a while, if you're curious to see like, what goodies can I get for free as a download from the Learning Center, we have a filter just for that, which is great. So there's a lot to check out in our Learning Center, and I am going to pass this off. Yeah, um, so just wanted to call out here that does everyone have access to these courses? This is a common question we've heard inside community and even during our connects like these. And we just wanted to say yes, with the single sign on inside community now, 
the Learning Center access is extended to just about everyone who creates a community account via the SSO. So if you're connected to the new community and you've uh, created those set of credentials, we auto verify you to access all those freemium courses. And when you select your organization during the registration and SSO, we'll actually connect you to all the premium content that your organization may have subscribed to. So definitely log into community to ensure that you have access to everything you're entitled to. For right now, our learning center access is extended to like instructors, administrators, and learners, but we have tons of courses that are really catered towards instructors and admins who are using Brightspace. So there are lots of teaching tips and tricks. There are learning tools. We have the quiz question converter tool, which is also a really neat one. And we see like a lot of you benefiting from that. But what's what else is pretty cool about this? We are really looking to transform and really bring to you courses that are valuable to you. So continue to provide us that feedback inside that community feedbacks discussion thread. And we'll be sure to connect with you to ensure that we are coming up with content that's uh, that's valuable to you as uh, instructors and administrators. Something else that I really wanted to call out is the learning center can be thought of actually as a school. So, you know, that's where we are hoping to facilitate so much learning for Brightspace and with all of you as our fellow customers. Um, the, the thing is, we want to spotlight you and you will get the opportunity to be an instructor as well within, within this learning center. So, there, so the opportunity here is truly to connect with you with anything. So as much or as little as you'd like. So we have customer spotlight series, which are in the format of convos with community. These are short one or two minute videos that we often like to promote with a quick Twitter takeover. So with our Brightspace help handle, we actually promote instructors and administrators who are doing something unique with their learning space inside Brightspace and really share out and celebrate you and your achievements in uh, inside Brightspace. The other really cool thing is we could also partner with you to bring in the awesome stuff that you've done in your Brightspace to experience within our learning center. What does that do for everyone? It really helps foster this community of sharing and spirit of learning with everyone else who's a community uh, member. So instructors, everyone subscribed to D2L Brightspace, who have a community account would be able to see the awesome stuff and really feel inspired, get a dialogue going and help provide feedback as well. Like what are things that they're using your course for, which is pretty neat. And finally, it's uh, also an opportunity for us to maybe steal a little bit more of your time and do a quick event or a webinar series. So again, spotlighting you, you're the center of the stage and we want to give you as much or as little as you'd like to share with everyone else. With these convos with community sessions in the past, and I wanted to just highlight like two real good ones that we've done in the in the last few months. Uh, the the most recent one is actually a convos with community with Joe Cisco, who's a sessional instructor at the University of Windsor. How did that start? So we had a quick uh, a Twitter exchange of messages where Joe was like, oh, I really wish there were more courses about the video note tool within Brightspace Learning Center. And I really love the tool and, you know, I want to see how it's used. So the community crew thought of it as a very nice opportunity to just like quickly DM him and see if he'd be interested to really partner with us to, to showcase what does he love about the video note tool. And with that came tons of stuff. So Joe was very generous with his time to really give us a quick mini interview series, uh, which we promoted through a quick Converse with community session. We also have now a course which is transforming feedback with video notes inside the Brightspace Learning Center, which is a pretty cool one You, if you want to see Joe in action right within using the video note tool. And then also a quick event or webinar for which an on-demand recording is currently hosted inside our community corner. That's a really neat one. And the last one that I wanted to highlight, sorry for being so chatty. The other one is the University College of Dublin. Really, uh, it's a research study done about metacognitive teaching and learning strategies. And they're really taking us along in this journey with them to participate in discussion channels. You get to interact with co the course uh, developers. So Emma O'Neill, who's a really, really generous person with her time and her spirit, she's an awesome uh, partner, um, has really brought this course to life inside the Learning Center. And definitely check it out if you're hoping to transform the way your classroom learns in a virtual environment. But without a further ado, I will pass it over to our wonderful colleague, Patrick, who will be chatting a little bit more about training. If you would like to participate in Convos with Community Sessions, send us a DM uh, and we'd be happy to connect.
All right, let's talk about Brightspace guided training. Brightspace guided training uh, is a free resource housed in the Learning Center. Uh, it contains tailored materials developed by the training team at D2L to help our community learn how to use Brightspace. Uh, there's two main areas of BGT. Uh, one is our repository of learning materials inside specially designed courses. And the other is our webinars hosted by our training Brightspace experts. Our course content covers important concepts, workflows, and tools uh, for both instructors and administrators. Uh, for instructors, we focus on key elements of Brightspace, such as getting started, communication within your course, uh, publishing content, uh, evaluation methods, and personalization. Uh, for admins, we focus on the places, the people, the settings, uh, and displaying in Brightspace. Each of these points of interest are broken up into our specific tools so that those looking to learn can find exactly what they're looking for and can review easy to consume uh, micro learning topics. You have the freedom to browse within BGT and do as much or as little within the course as you like based on your learning needs. If you don't know where to start with Brightspace, uh, and are an instructor, we've provided a guided tour for you in our instructor course that takes you sequentially through our points of interest to provide the basics of how to set up your own course. We, uh, so we also have live webinar series running that you can register uh, and see the schedule for on the Brightspace guided training page in the community. Uh, these also focus on important areas of Brightspace uh, and provide you a uh, direct interaction with one of our experts. But don't worry if your schedule doesn't align with those live portions of our webinars. We do have a list of our past webinars that are recorded and available on demand within the community. So I'm just gonna share my screen here and give a quick demo of what our BGT environment looks like. So inside, uh, for today, I'm going to take a look at our quizzing topic. And we're built, uh, there are four main topics usually within each tool that we highlight. It's very similar from tool to tool. And the first one is our learn about topics. And so this really gives an introduction about the tool within Brightspace, what it is and why you would want to use it to really give that kind of base introduction of what it is. Um, and next, we kind of move into this interactive object that is loading. There we go. So these create a basic uh, videos actually showcase step-by-step step how to create an object within that tool. So for quizzes, it goes through almost like as if you were watching someone build it right in front of you. Uh, and it's uh, in a simple to follow steps along the side in the menu. And once you get to the very end of watching someone build it themselves, we have actually built in a secondary uh, interactive video that you can actually go through and participate yourself so that it's like you're building a quiz in your own environment. So you're prompted to, if you're ready, to click new quiz to begin. So you follow along just as the previous video did and you build your own quiz. So that's really exciting that you can actually go in and participate and get used to the environment, especially if uh, you haven't had a chance to have access to your own course yet or want some extra practice. Uh, next, we have our create uh, advanced topics. So this isn't necessarily advanced or for advanced users. It's more so uh, just beyond the basics, which kind of really gets into the um, options uh, within each tool. So as you can see, there's these little stars uh, beside options within the quizzing panels. And so one reason for those stars is to show how popular they are with other users and that people who find them useful within their course, but also, kind of showcasing what training uh, believes to be very valuable settings that you can set within your quizzes. And so 
each, there's a description of what each of these options are when you go to build your quiz and you can really decide for yourself whether or not that's uh, a way to personalize your quiz in order uh, to uh, for your learners needs or your own needs within the quiz. And finally, one of our last main types of topics is the edit and delete topics. And those showcase, same as the Create a Basic, a workflow of how to go in if you want to make changes to your existing materials. Uh, this shows that. And also, if you no longer need a resource within your course, it shows you how to remove that so that that's not um, overpopulating your own course. So I'm going to jump back to the PowerPoint. And so everything I've shown is provided within the Learning Center for free. Um, as mentioned before, there's some premium options if you're looking for something a bit uh, outside of the scope of what's provided for free. And one of those things is BGT Premium. So to talk a bit about that, uh, I just wanted to highlight that everything included in the community free resource is included in the premium. But what really sets it apart is that uh, it is placed within your own organization. So you actually have personal access to that course that you can curate those points of interest that I highlighted before, where you can hide certain material, maybe that tool isn't accessible with your Brightspace package, or you can actually add your own learning materials if you want to use it as an onboarding resource or your own learning initiatives, you can actually insert content into your own Brightspace guided training course. Um, and with that comes all the branding and homepage settings that uh, really align with your organization that are actually uh, toggled and um, editable. Uh, and finally, one of the things we like to highlight is that if you are using it as a training resource, because it's your own environment, you actually can get your own usage statistics from Brightspace Guided Training to see how your instructors or TAs or different people learning are following through the material and making sure that they have completed it and uh, the time they spend in that course. Um, another um, tile that you may have seen in the Learning Center image earlier is certificate training. And so what that is, is a more in-depth uh, look at some of the Brightspace environment, uh, especially if you're an instructional designer or a developer will be really getting into uh, building things in Brightspace. You actually have three courses that's part of a certificate program that looks at building and working with existing materials, uh, doing assessments and grading within Brightspace and communication and engagement. And so if you're interested, uh, these courses actually provide you uh, a certificate at the end of completion. Uh, there's testing and interactivity all involved with that. Um, and finally, yeah, you can get access to private training uh, as part of the training team uh, with anything that you find gaps that you wanna know. We have over 30 different types of sessions in our training catalog for really that kind of more one-on-one -on -one training with someone in person. There are a ton of ways that you can stay connected with our community. And I really just wanna highlight, especially um, this component here, which talks about community events. We, we always recommend bookmarking that discussion. We hope in part that's how you've come to this session, but share with colleagues and share widely. One of the reasons I would say to do so has a real connection to what, what Patrick shared, which is that always in community events, we highlight any upcoming live training sessions that are being offered through community as well. And our training team just does really a phenomenal job of being a presence here in the community and of making time available really monthly to connect on a a pretty wide variety of topics. Sometimes you'll find sessions that share about um, what's new in Brightspace, especially sort of looking at some of the most recently released features. So there are some really cool opportunities to connect with the training team in live sessions, even through community. Uh, and again, I, I am so pleased, Patrick, thank you so much for being a voice for all of the wonderful resources inside of the Brightspace Learning Center. Uh, and, and for speaking about our Brightspace Guided Training Certificate and Private Training offerings. I'm also really excited about the new on-demand Brightspace Guided Training content, which you'll find by hovering over resources in the navigation bar and then selecting the training uh, 
option, you'll see, as Patrick shared earlier, the option to view on-demand Brightspace guided training content. It's very recently added to our community, so you may not have even spotted it there yet, but it's a great way to connect with these kind of recorded trainings that cover some of the foundational concepts of getting started in, in your use of Brightspace. So if you've missed that opportunity to connect in a live webinar, or sometimes it's hard to get some time away over a lunch and, and you're squeezing it in when you have a couple minutes here and there, or even on the go, if you're, you know, on a bus ride or a train rider for part of your commute, sometimes it's really handy to steal those, those little moments, but that's what on-demand resources are really there or is uh, to be available when it's useful to you to meet your own personalized schedule. And I love that. In community, we, we make no secret of it. We love to be in touch with you. We love to have these opportunities to connect. We always wanna know about your questions about what's happening in Brightspace. We hope you notice through our new community how we're trying to get better and better, not just in terms of speed to answer your questions, but also how we're reshaping documentation and uh, articles you'll find in our community to hopefully um, provide faster and easier access to how to's and uh, to answer some of the deeper questions that you have about setup. We also have community FAQs, which answer some of the most frequently ask questions we have in our community, especially things about um, accessing the new single sign-on or getting connected with some of the features like groups or um, connecting with other resources like Pi. So if you have those, those questions that are kind of burning away, lots of resources to be found there. We don't want you to be a stranger even when it comes to spaces like social. So you'll always find us on Twitter at Brightspace Help. We were tweeting today about our event, and we always try to make sure we're circulating more information about great events that are happening in community or new uh, articles or exciting posts that are happening. Um, a bunch of great content coming out of our groups, really diverse ones like our Instructional Design Best Practices group. There's another great article um, chatting about chat GPT and uh, the use of AI tools. So some really cool stuff that's uh, being published really every day in the Brightspace community. And if you do ever have a question, please don't be a stranger. We'd love to hear an email from you too. Always available that way as well. We are very grateful to each of you for taking some time, especially on a Friday afternoon to connect with us. Um, we hope that these sessions are going to be helpful ones to, to you. We, we want it to be a good session. So we've provided on your screen now a little bit of an event feedback uh, poll. We want to hear your thoughts. Let us know how we can shape our next couple of sessions so that they're better and better. The one we have upcoming next month is going to focus a little bit on fusion and a little bit on user experience research, how you can be involved in user experience research at D2L, what those opportunities are like. But we want to know about other topics that you're curious about too that we might not have covered yet in one of our recent sessions, or maybe something that we did chat about that you'd love to hear about again or from a slightly different perspective. One thing that we're learning through your feedback and through polls and uh, discussions in our community is that you're really excited by this opportunity to hear from subject matter experts all around D2L. So we are so pleased truly to have some representation from our training team in this combo with community so that we could connect you directly with those experts from around D2L who know their material very, very deeply and can give you the latest and greatest information about what's happening with everything from free Brightspace guided training all the way through to premium private training. Um, and so next month, we hope you'll be just as excited as we are to hear more about Fusion from some of the folks at the D2L Fusion team, and also from some of our user experience researchers who will be present at Fusion with the user experience research lab, um, but they'll also share with you about other testing opportunities that are available, uh, whether or not you're able to attend Fusion in person. So yeah, please don't be shy to just keep sharing that feedback with us. It really does make a difference. Thanks, Stephanie. Um, at this time, like as promised in the agenda, we really wanted to open up the floor for any questions that may come through with the presentation so far. If you have access, uh, uh, if you just wanted to learn more about access or uh, even more stuff about the learning center and training, um, 
just to get us started, in the community, we've often had this question, and I'm going to ask my colleague Andrea here this one, but um, Andrea, are there any badges or awards that are given inside the Learning Center that mark completion of courses or certify that I've done something in content? Um, yes, so our Learning Center courses often um, feature a badge that you can earn for completing the course. Uh, whether for just completing the content or completing any assessments that might be attached. And a nice thing about the Learning Center courses is that we have social sharing which the, with the badges. So um, I've actually recently used it uh, with LinkedIn. But yes, you can share your badges uh, from the Learning Center uh, onto your socials. I know it's very popular on LinkedIn. Um, and even just briefly, we've kind of taken that spirit of badges and recognition as well in the community. So you'll see sometimes on people's profiles or even your own, uh, there are badges for just acknowledging your contribution in the community as well. Thanks so much, Andrea, for sharing that. Thank you, one more shameless <laughs> shout out and plug. Yes. So if you missed it, we had very recently our Global Accessibility Awareness Day celebration with our accessibility team. And I really do wanna give them a, a little shout out here too, because they've undertaken, a, I think a fantastic project over the last year to develop custom badges, custom awards that accompany all of the courses inside of the Accessibility Academy, which you can connect with through your Brightspace Learning Center. So it's just, if you haven't done it already, I think another great reason to connect with the new single sign-on experience. Um, as Patrick shared with you, there's a ton of great free training content available through the Brightspace Learning Center. The training team has a, a number of different sections that you can interact with, including Brightspace guided training. Our accessibility team has also developed a unique space inside of the Learning Center called the Accessibility Academy. There's a wide variety of courses that are available there. Some of them are actually contributed by customers who share about the accessibility best practices that they're undertaking, but many of them are also created by our, our own accessibility team. So if you've ever had questions about what kinds of assistive devices uh, students are using to connect with online learning material or um, how to better support students, for example, students who may have low vision needs, there are some great courses that are available there. And upon completion, you do unlock those badges which you can share. So a great indicator of your own commitment to professional development. I noticed, and I'm so grateful, thank you really to everyone who's joining us today uh, for some of the feedback, including this, which says, um, I would like to see more video tutorials for administrators outside of the guided training course, especially for things like bulk user management, which is just tremendous feedback and really, really appreciate it. It really does make a difference. We'll ensure that we're capturing that and connecting it back with our, our community and training team so we can see how we can further support those needs too. I'll give you an example of some um, helpful ones. I'm not sure if you've had a chance to spot these ones, but Recently in the Brightspace Learning Center, we have been working on a couple specific course resources that I would say are really tailored to the administrator experience um, that are, again, outside of Brightspace guided training. So one of those would be the SAML course. Um, another one is the D2L IPSIS, um, sorry, standard D2L CSV IPSIS tool course. So it's actually a good one that touches on things like um, bulk creation of users, bulk creation of courses, and then bulk enrollment. So that actually might be a, a really cool one to take a look at. Uh, it, it doesn't focus just on bulk user management tool. It really focuses on the standard D2L CSV, but it might be worth a peek and truly I'd love your feedback on that one too. I, I promise I will make sure that we're connecting your feedback with our knowledge team to see how we can create some additional resources there too. Um, but that is such an important topic to us and we do want to make sure you have even more available. So thank you. Thank you so much for the feedback. Please don't be shy. Stephanie, I just wanted to add too, I mean, I've used this as a resource um, in the community. You can actually go under in the uh, top navigation and there's the tutorials uh, section that with videos yeah. um, and that there's actually a lot of, um, there's an administrator section. So there might be a couple 
uh, videos there that actually touch on bulk user management. So that's worth a, a check if uh, there may be something there to help. That is a great point. I think just to keep myself honest too. So it's a great point from Patrick in our new community. When you access the navigation bar, if you hover over um, documentation, there's a column that calls out videos, which is that component Patrick was sharing about. And we have a playlist just for administrators. Now to keep myself on here, don't believe we do have a video tutorial currently on just the bulk user management tool, which makes it a really, a really, really powerful and a very deeply appreciated suggestion. But I, I think it's a great one, uh, a great suggestion and also a great, uh, a great thought also by Patrick that we do have a dedicated playlist there and all of the videos that are found under that playlist actually have been recently refreshed as we've been moving to this new community. So more, more to come, especially with your help. So thank you so much. Don't be shy to add additional thoughts. These are so helpful. I uh, also just wanted to plug in Stephanie too. I didn't mention in my talk about BGT, but we do offer some MVP uh, topics in uh, four core languages for Brightspace guided training. So if you uh, learn more comfortably in either Spanish, French, uh, Dutch, or Portuguese, we do offer some of our content uh, in those languages in the Learning Center. So uh, definitely take a look at that if uh, that's your, uh, um, if you're bilingual or trilingual. So That's a great point too. Well, I have to say a big thank you to everybody who's taken the time to connect with us in this event, to share feedback with us. We hope you'll just continue to do so and keep that conversation going in community. It's certainly where you'll find all of our community team and also wonderful members like Patrick from our training team. So really and truly, thank you so much for spending part of your day with us. We hope you all have a wonderful weekend and that we get a chance to see you again soon at our next convo with community.